guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and the Grinch. And I always get questions where I get these shirts. This sweatshirt came from a store called Beware. B W E A R. Now, they're in Zanesville, Ohio, but they do ship and they have all kinds of fabulousness. So that's where I got this sweatshirt. Ooh, sweatshirt. I think it was like $12.99, $14.99. They're very reasonably priced. Okay, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I'm so excited. Got some stuff, not a ton, but I got some stuff. So let's get started. First things first, I found all these little stuffies. Do I need stuffies? No, but I will show you which ones I'm keeping. Um, now I will keep this little penguin. I think I'm gonna put him in my bedroom. This little teddy bear I'm gonna give to Luna cause she can chew on it cause she's a little dog, but I love the penguin. And they just get two of them. They're so cute. You're going to know why I bought these in a second. Um, I, I'm, the snowman is weird. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. So Luna's getting the snowman. But I'm keeping the reindeer. Look at him. And he's fat. I love him. And then the elves I'm keeping. We have a girl elf and a boy elf. Aren't they so cute? And look at their little ears. Guys, I'm completely obsessed. But this is the whole entirety of why I bought them. Can we please look at Mrs. Claus and Santa? Come on. Come on. We need these in our life. I think I might even put a little white pom-pom on his hat. I think these are for littles, for little people, so they didn't put a lot of pieces. Well, I guess that doesn't really work because there's a bow. I don't know. But he needs a white pom-pom on his hat. But I got Santa and Mrs. Claus. And the elves are for sure sticking with me. Um, I'm going to probably put them on my dresser. I just think they're adorable. Do I buy stuffies a lot? No. But do I think those are cute as can be? Yes. Okay, I'm just getting comfy here. Uh, no particular order. But I did find going gnome for the holidays with the little gnome skaters. And that adorable Christmas tree. I thought these were sweet. I will probably do a craft with those if I had to guess. I try to get up as many DIY videos as I can. Oh, do you guys want to see the fire that's blazing behind me? Um, except for, you know, sometimes time doesn't per permit. Just as a heads up. Um, I grabbed one pack of these. These are garland ties. You get 12 of them, which is pretty fantastic. These are great for a myriad of crafts. You can use these to make the Dollar Tree Christmas trees more full because they are pretty sparse. You can use these to make little mini wreaths by just rolling them on because they're on a wire. You can take a couple, you can add them to garland if you want it to look thicker. These are just fantastic for decorating with. So I grabbed a pack. I think I have another pack. So I only needed one, but I grabbed it because that's craftiness. For my dog people, they have these collapsible dog bowls. I'm not opening them up because um, they're gifts, but they 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 pop out and you can fill them with water. Luna has one, so I got one for Jody and Storm, but they also come with a carabiner so their owner can hook it on the leash or on their bag. And if you're out of the park or wherever, this is fantastic. Um, and it is Alpha Paw is the company that put these out. And I have seen them at several of my Dollar Trees, um, but they were going fast. So I just grabbed two because I haven't put any together under my tree. I have two dog stockings going. So I need to add those. And then the dogs are done. You know, they're important. This is Infused Lip Oil by Be Pure. Um, I get dry lips in the winter time. I also have a, maybe a lip obsession with like all this stuff. I don't know, but I wanted to try this, um, just to see how it feels. Ah, uh, huh. tastes weird. What's in it? Very oily green tea. It feels nice for sure. Just don't overdo it like I did. 
it just went into my mouth. Doesn't taste great, but I think this will be great to put on at night before I go to bed to kind of help with my chap lips. They get dry. They're little. I gotta. So yeah, I will use this. I don't, it doesn't feel, it doesn't burn. And my lips are chapped right now. And the fact that it doesn't burn means that I'm, I'm going to like it. So yeah, I grabbed some of that. If you see it, I think it's going to be great for winter time. I'll even put it here behind me so I don't forget. All right. What do we have over here? Oh, I love Russell Stover's sugar-free candies. I don't eat a lot of it because it can have some adverse effects on your digestive tract, but I do love it. So I grabbed some just for a treat to have about the house. Um, I found, and there was only a couple at my store, but these are Bounce Back Curl Refreshing Mist. So my girl has some curly hair. I also have curls, you just can't tell because I keep mine short, but Sarah's hair is not short, so I got these for her. I'll just throw them under the tree with some hair product. Um, but this is a great brand. It is Salon Graphic New York, and this is Bounce Back Curl Refreshing Mist Revive and Nourish. Enhances curls and waves, resists humidity, lightweight hold. So I got those for her, for her stocking or whatever. And then in the beauty aisle, I also found these are for me. So this is Active Workout Ready Hydration Stick. Now she tells me, I did talk to Sarah, she said that she has heard of this, I mean, we, I, we've all heard of ELF, but I've not heard of this line that they have. I grabbed two because I haven't seen these at any other store, but in the summertime, especially when I'm riding my bike or out exercising, my moisturizer tends to sweat out of my skin and it gets gross. So let us see. It's like on a, a tube. It has a fragrance to it, which is concerning. I'm gonna do it on my hand. Feels nice. All right, we'll try it. Here's my dry spot right here. We're gonna see if it burns. If it stings, then I know right away that it's not something I can use. I have very sensitive skin. Um, if it does not, it doesn't feel like it's not stinging. Right here is my, is my driest area. My top lip and right here feels nice it's not heavy it's lightweight yeah I like this I'm glad I got two um I'll save these for summer for sure in the winter time I definitely I mean I am so dry I can use eucerin cream out of the tube the cream on my face and I don't have any issues with it I'm that dry my skin just sucks it up but underneath sunblock you know just to have this is going to be fantastic for summer so if you also have some dry skin, I think this is great. It's workout ready hydration stick and it says it will not infuse with natural skin hydrating shea butter, coconut butter, aloe, and grapeseed oil for an instant boost of cooling hydration. The breathable performance formula is sweat resistant, won't clog pores to keep up with the active beauty lover. I think that's pretty great. Sorry, my batteries dying on me here so I grabbed those for me just to have because you know and then I've got these to show you and then I'm going to give them to somebody I am shook guys these are gender reveal they're gender reveal sticks full of confetti so whoever knows the gender of the baby buys these sticks I haven't seen for boys yet I've only seen for the girls and then you can take them out of the packaging, right? You twist them, you follow the directions, you do whatever it says. You don't look at the tip because you can see it's pink. But when you put them off, however you do, um, it reveals confetti for the gender. I thought that was amazing find. How it works, again, I don't know. I'm assuming you push here and it shoots the confetti there i don't know we'll have to try it and see but if i see them again oh there's directions on the inside okay so there are directions in here how to do it but i know some people who's like you know having babies and i thought this would be super fun to have 
or give away because I won't need them. I'm not, I'm not having no babies. But I wanted to show you. I thought this was pretty fantastic and it was in the baby aisle. So I thought that was that was actually pretty wild to find. Okay. Um, on the line of health and beauty, I grabbed these. These are single use eye drops. Now I use, again, with being dry, I use eye drops fairly regularly. Um, these are little tubes and you pop them open and you use them and then you throw them away. So they're, um, they're sensitive and preservative free, which is great for me. They're single use containers. So there's no contamination. And um, these are great for travel. If you fly, especially like overseas or long distance, drying, drying of the eyes, the body, most 90% of jet lag is caused by being dehydrated. That's how dry airplane, airplanes are. So you want to bring your hydration drinks with you and some eye drops. And I hope one day I get to go again on the plane. But when I do, oh, and compression socks, because I'm old, um, I am going to be bringing my hydrate, liquid IV or something like that on the plane so we don't get so jet lagged. Just want to say that. I picked up a little pack of these six piece, one and a quarter inch styrofoam balls because I think these will be adorable to make snowballs. Maybe in those little wedding tins, put a couple of these in there or in a bucket, like fill the bucket and then glue these on top and put snowballs five cents. I don't know, I thought they'd be cute. So I grabbed a package to try to make some snowballs. Nothing exciting, nothing too terribly exciting. Um, I grabbed some glue sticks because I feel like these are tiny. Like they're not big. And I did get the Dollar Tree glue, glue gun. And I was worried when I saw how little these were that my normal size glue sticks wouldn't fit in the Dollar Tree glue gun and I'm giving it to somebody. So I grabbed this size of a glue stick and then when I go to her house because we're going to use it and then I'm gonna let her keep it um if this is the size we need then I'll have some glue sticks for her if it's not she can still have these glue sticks but I was kind of surprised they're about the size of a pencil and I've never seen them this tiny I don't feel like but I saw them and I was like if this is the size I need for the Dollar Tree glue gun then I want to have the glue sticks to use because I'm taking it somewhere um, I grabbed one more thing of candy. I found the Andy's Candies snap bar. I think I've shown this before. Here's the thing. Usually I have by now so much name brand candy from the Dollar Tree that I do a whole video, but I am not finding much at all this year. I'm going to go through my bag that I have upstairs and I'll do a video, but I don't feel like I have found what I have found in years past. And that's kind of sad. It's not for me, so I guess I don't care, but I usually find a ton of name brand stuff early on in the Christmas season. Like right when they bring the Christmas candy out, there's tons of like Russell Stover and all that. And that, But you know what? It makes sense because my stores, I, I'm, I found one package at my store. They used to keep this in stock, and I haven't seen this brand in a while. So I'm wondering if they're either having a hard time getting it in stock. Chocolate. No, it's not. It's not imported from overseas. This is from Kansas. I don't know. I'm not sure what the deal is, but I'm not finding a lot of name brand candy. Uh, but I did find some sugar-free starlight mints in the spearmint and then I got also somewhere somewhere around here the peppermints um because I can't have regular candy but I can have these little sugar freeze and they make me feel like you know it's Christmas time and then I did pick up one of these ornaments this was on one of my trips when I said I found one this was the new thing I found at that store um and I'm not doing anything to it. I don't think I'm putting my tiered tray up this year, I don't think. So this will end up on a shelf or somewhere, or it'll go in the box with my tiered tray stuff if I decide to do it. I haven't decided yet, but at, at this juncture, I have not brought the tiered tray out. 
but I liked this ornament. And I have seen people ripping off this tinsel and then doing like red and white yarn around it to make it look a little more rustic or a little less tinselly. But I kind of like the vintage feel of the tinsel. I do need to fix that there. But I kind of like the little splash of sparkle. I don't know. That's just me. And I could be considered an odd bird. Who knows? Who knows? All right. I found some books. And I have to go upstairs and look. Because I don't know if this is a repeat just in paperback. But I know I got another book about the um, Harper Lee for Sarah. And I'm wondering if it's the same book. This is just paperback and the other one is a hardback. I'm not really sure, but um, my girl loves to read. And so I grabbed it just in case. If I do have two of the same book, that's fine. I'll read one. She can read one. I'll give it to her. She likes to collect books also for her students in her classroom. Um, and this one might be one. This is the map that leads to you. It looked interesting. She'll read them first. And then if she feels like they're appropriate for her high school age children, she'll let them read it. Um, she'll bring it into her school library, to her classroom for her books that she has to, for kids to borrow. And this was regularly $9.99. And I've not heard of this author, but that doesn't mean anything. J.P. Moniger. And it's a story of a chance encounter and it's romantic and I think she will enjoy it. And I will tell you, that's another thing. Like I've saw, I have seen a bunch of people hauling books. My stores have no books. Like every store I'm at, this is what I found. Two books. And I mean, they don't have any books. These just happen to have been laid on a shelf. So I don't know if somebody returned them, but they're, my bookshelves are bare at my stores, which makes me sad. I enjoy books and I enjoy reading. Here is the other ornament that I found that was new. And I don't know that I've seen anybody hauling this one, but I freaking love it. It's just adorable. I love the little bit of glitter, the greenery, the little bush over here. It's cardboard, which is hysterical. And the bottom is wood. I don't, I don't know why they wouldn't have just put wood on the back, but they didn't. This is going up on one of my shelves up there. So I don't care that it's cardboard because I'm going to cut everything off and it's just going to sit. What you doing back there, Alex? And they had it in this and then a blue tartan. And it's like a double front door. Guys, I love it. And if you were going to be building something like a gingerbread house, here's your front door. I'm just saying, you can rip the sucker apart, paint it up, do whatever you want and call it. And maybe somebody has, I just haven't seen it. But it is an ornament, but I will be using it as a piece of decor because I need some little things. Um, I grabbed two of these. These are the double extra large. I was actually looking for the two pack of the extra large, but my store either had the double XL bags in the one pack or they had a three pack, which are a little too small. The three packs, however, are great for traveling when you put your liquids in. These I'm going to use for putting away Christmas this year. I have all these like pine cones and greenery and I find that they store better in this and don't take up as much space as a tote. So I'm going to, and I may need some more of these by the end of the season because I think these would also be great for holding like my tree skirt and stuff like that, that I can just stack up in a row. But I grabbed two for now. One is definitely going to be holding a bunch of pine cones because I have a whole entire tote full, which I don't need. So I need to purge too, but I grabbed those for putting Christmas away. Um, oh, here's that other, I was telling you I bought some glue. So I got three sets, one, two, I guess two for me. I don't know, one for Sarah, one for me, and maybe I'll give somebody else one. But I love that they have such a pointy tip up here that you can precision put your glue where you need it. And these, this is a Bostick brand. I don't know how much they are, but it's a real, it's like a name brand. So we got that. And I grabbed some hot hands. I got the two pack hand warmers and the two pack toe warmers. So I work football at the Ohio State University and it's outdoors and last weekend was super cold. And I brought, grabbed one of these and took it to work thinking it was a two pack, but it was just one really big one, which was fine. But these are a little more convenient. So you get two in here, one for each hand. And then these, this shape is that oval and they go right under the ball of your foot. I've used these before and they keep your feet warm if you get very cold and these are great. Um, I don't think that they go bad, but I think they do expire. These are good until 5 of 25.
but I've had some before that I think were older and they didn't really get quite as hot. But these are great if you're going to be outdoors and I'm going to be outdoors. Then I found this and I have not seen this before. It's a premium pad folio, wide ruled. It is Greenbrier, so everybody should be getting it. But if you see that texture, it has like the faux alligator texture on it and it's actually a pad folio. So you open it up and here is your notepad. I would say it's a legal pad, but I mean, I guess it is technically a legal pad, but it's wide ruled, which is bizarre, but whatever. And then you close it up. Isn't that great? I love these, to be honest with you. Especially like at my job, I can keep lots of notes on these and then your paper doesn't get ruined. And that's what I got it for. And you know me, is, it, is the sticker gonna come off? Because if the sticker, I'm not gonna do it now, but if the sticker's not gonna come off, we're gonna have a problem, kids. But I liked it. I thought that was pretty great, um, especially for work and if you have any worker bees in your family. All right, the last thing I have, and I am pretty excited about, I think. Not quite the last thing. No, not the last thing. I found some chicken bouillon, and this is loose. It's not cubes. It's chicken bouillon powder, which is great. I love that. Um, I don't know how great it is for you, but one teaspoon dissolved in one cup water equals a cup of broth. So a teaspoon to a cup of water to make things like when I make chili or things, I use less tomato sauce and more, I wish they had it in beef and I'm gonna hold out for the beef. But I grabbed some chicken and I think it's gonna be hopefully a little better for us in the cubes because I feel like they have to add stuff to the cubes to make them solidified, so. Gotta get my fire blowing back there. Oh, speaking of my Starlight Mints, here's the peppermint. So I grabbed two peppermint and a spearmint and I'll just keep these in a bowl and when I feel like I want some peppermint. Also, I took these to the football game and I dropped it in my coffee and it was delicious. It made it taste very festive. So I grabbed these, sugar-free. And again, this is more candy than I'm not seeing on the shelves. Um, so it says made in the USA with imported ingredients, but um, one store had two bags. One store had a bunch of these. Well, and I say a bunch, maybe like five bags. And one store had two of these. And that's all I've seen. So I grabbed enough that should get me through Christmas for me. And then I can obviously get sugar-free candy other places. But I just found it interesting. And then I grabbed an extension cord just in case for my outdoor lights. Because uh, on my porch, they're covered. And I think this is an indoor only. I have to see. This is Greenbrier... Uh, green extension cord, but I don't know if it's indoor or outdoor only. Let's see. Um, attention. Well, I'm going to have to read this to see if this is an indoor or outdoor only. Because it doesn't say... Um, it's a six foot cord, but for decorating, I needed one anyway. Okay, now speaking of my sugar-free quest, I always go down the juice aisle just to see what I can see. And look what I found today. This is Tampico Citrus Punch Sugar-Free. Now, are they zero carbs? No. Do I have to be careful? Yes. Am I super excited? Also, yes. So I got that citrus punch, which I like. Then I found the Old Orchard Healthy Balance in the sugar-free. This is apple cranberry. There's one sugar and two carbs per serving because it is made with real fruit, which is fine for me. But this is again, it will get me through Christmas and probably Thanksgiving because I'll just mix a little splash of this in with like some, maybe some diet Sprite or whatever. So apple cranberry I got, and then I got regular cranberry, which I think is delicious. And they also had plain apple, which I think is great. Put a little cinnamon here. Oh, it'll be so good. 
Um, so I got these three for now. Maybe I'll go back and see if they have any more at another time. But I don't drink a lot of juice in general. But I thought this would be fun to have through the holidays. So a little cranberry juice, maybe a little adult something something in it. I don't know, but we'll make it fun. Um, but I definitely like it on Thanksgiving uh, with some Sprite and a little cranberry juice. I think it's delicious. So that is everything I got on this trip to the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk with you later. Have a good one.